because it's surrounded by a thick, hazy atmosphere, and we couldn't get a good look at it. But in 2005, we landed a probe on Titan, the farthest world from Earth we've ever touched. And from an amazing 1,200 million kilometers away, the probe sent back pictures. It was one of the most fun days I can remember in, in my scientific life was the day that this was happening. We had a pool in the planetary sciences department here at Caltech where everybody got to predict what was going to happen when the Huygens probe landed. And the predictions ranged from it's going to land in a liquid and float, it's going to be destroyed, somebody suggested it was going to get eaten, uh, that, that one didn't happen. Nobody expected what we saw. What they saw was a world sculpted by weather. Photographs of mountain ranges and shorelines, dunes and riverbeds, all created by wind and rain. We sat there in the room watching these come down, and the entire floor that is the Caltech Planetary Science Department was just silent and in awe. But Titan's landscape wasn't carved by water. It's methane, the main component of Earth's natural gas. On Titan, at minus 180 degrees Celsius, it's a liquid. And Titan's methane goes through a cycle, just like our water here on Earth. Evaporation leads to clouds, which leads to precipitation. And that methane rain creates rivers, streams, and massive lakes, even bigger than the Great Lakes. The liquid methane comes from rain up in the sky. The clouds are up in the sky. The clouds are frozen droplets of methane instead of water. And those frozen droplets of methane and rain down onto the surface. Maybe you're planning a trip to one of Saturn's moons. One I would avoid would be Titan. Partly cloudy, 80% chance of liquid methane showers that will freeze you in place. Goosebumps will be the least of your problems. And highs will be in the mid to upper minus 300s. The weather on Titan is a bit chilly. Now, this really isn't liquid methane, it's liquid nitrogen, but it's about the same temperature, 300 degrees below zero. Let's see what would happen to, say, a flower if it was rained on on Titan. I'll put it in the liquid nitrogen. It's almost like crushing glass. That's cold. Let's try a banana. The rain on Titan is so cold, it would freeze anything on Earth solid. So you probably wouldn't want to get caught in one of those rainstorms. A deluge of freezing liquid methane. This is not the kind of rain that an umbrella could protect you from. But Titan is just one place with weird weather. The planet it circles, Saturn, has some even more extreme atmospheric conditions. Saturn also has this giant hurricane-like storm.